Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Find the value of the following series. The first term is 1 divided by the quantity 10 to the power of negative 9 plus 1. The second term is 1 divided by the quantity 10 to the negative 8 plus 1. And this continues until the last two terms of 1 divided by 10 to the power of 8 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power of 9 plus 1. I thank Gusti from Indonesia for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. When I tried to solve the problem, at first, I was stumped. So I went to my bag of tricks. I tried to see all of the common ways to solve a series. I first checked if it was an arithmetic series. It was not. Then I tried to see if it was a geometric series. Again, it was not. It wasn't a telescoping series, and I couldn't recognize it as a power series. Then I noticed a little bit of a pattern. There's a symmetry in this sum. This is the trick that helped me solve the problem. I noticed the first and the last terms paired off, then the second term and the second to last term paired off, and so on. So let's see how this simplifies. Define ak as equal to 1 divided by 10 to the power of k plus 1. Let's now try and evaluate the sum in the following fashion. The first term is a of negative 9. The second term is a of negative 8. Then in the middle, we have a0. And the last two terms are a8 and a9. So what we will do is we will pair off a negative k with a k. Let's try and simplify this sum. A negative k is equal to 1 divided by 10 to the power of negative k plus 1, and a k is equal to 1 divided by the quantity 10 to the power of k plus 1. So how can we simplify this? First, we want a common denominator. We'll take the denominator of the second fraction and multiply that term in the numerator and denominator of the first fraction. We also take the denominator of the first fraction and multiply that quantity in the numerator and denominator of the second fraction. We can thus add the numerators of these two fractions. From here, we'll simplify the denominator. In the numerator, we can group the 1 and 1 terms together, so we get 2. In the denominator, we'll multiply these two binomials. We get 10 to the power of k plus 10 to the power of negative k plus 10 to the power of k minus k plus 1. 10 to the power of k minus k is equal to 10 to the power of 0, and that's equal to 1. So then the denominator will have 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So notice, now the numerator and the denominator are exactly equal to each other. So they'll cancel out to be equal to 1. Thus, a negative k plus a k is equal to 1. Wow! So now let's solve the problem. We'll pair off the first and last terms. That'll be equal to 1. Then we'll pair off the second and the second to last term. That will be equal to 1. And we'll have exactly 9 of these pairs. So this will be equal to 9 plus a0. We then substitute for a0. Then 10 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 1 divided by 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 half. So this sum is equal to 9 plus 1 half, which is equal to 9.5. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.